just got a new puppy. He's a little small, but we got him these bowls for when he's an adult. And they're easily knocked over. So we want to build this piece of wood, a little stand for them to sit in. And I don't want it, I don't want to raise this up much at all. I'm gonna try to keep it that height. Just have the bowls sit inside there. Look at that. So the first thing I gotta do is measure from here to here, inside of this bowl. Which is well, five and a half inches. All right, so I got the basic top done. I just gotta figure out where I want these, drill some holes, cut it out. All right, so what I did was found the center of this whole piece, which is right there, cut it in half, which is the center of each square, right there and there. And then I found the outside lip the inside lip of this bowl from the center and marked four lines i don't have a way to draw a perfect circle through these dots right here that's where we'll, the bowl will fit in I'll cut that center piece out same there so i'm probably gonna guess i'll see if i can find something or i just sort of sketch it out and guess guesstimate and then see if it'll fit in. I found this thing in my old college art supplies. I forgot I had it. This will work. Ooh, that's nice. It worked. I'm gonna use this. We just bought this brand new. Use this to cut this out. I'm gonna drill a starting hole inside of each one of these circles so I can get the jigsaw in there. Try to get it as close to the edge as I can, but I don't wanna go outside of that line. Jigsaw time. Well, it might be easier for me to drill, drill a few holes. All right, not perfect. That was my first time ever using a jigsaw. Hopefully this next one will be better. Hmm, a little rough. I'm gonna sand it up and then glue this piece that's busted right here and clamp it together and then that'll have to dry. Maybe I should glue it first and then sand it. That's what I'll do. I'm going to glue this first and then sand it all up after the glue dries.
while that glue is drying, let's see if these fit. Oh. Perfect. Now I'm going to make little legs. I found this laying around. Just a scrap piece of wood. It's about the right thickness for me for what I'm doing, these legs. I'm going to make them two inches tall a piece. corner out so it's like a slightly modern angled leg the problem is I'm not sure how to cut that corner out they're so small I don't I don't want my hands that close to the blade I may have to do it by hand yeah I'm gonna try it by hand okay so I used this Cut it but it didn't cut straight so that's pretty good I'm just gonna use a palm sander to get it closer to my line and straighten this out all right I'd say they're all pretty close to the same they're similar but I don't think the dog is gonna complain it's all sanded the glue's dry I'm going to stain it the top piece uh, it's dark walnut, and I'm going to leave the legs natural. is put some wood glue on it and then clamp it. I don't think it needs much else. I made some dots a quarter of an inch from each side is where that leg is gonna go. Must, I'm just gonna eyeball it basically though. Doesn't need to be precise. I'll do that three more times. And there it is. Let those dry. And then we'll have to put some polyacrylic over top of it to protect the wood. I think we'll go either satin or gloss for easy cleanup. I put three coats of that satin polyacrylic on there. And in between each coat, I sanded it with 320 grit sandpaper so it was nice and smooth. <laughs> 